Hey, today we're going to talk about the biggest home renovation mistakes to avoid. I'm Ksenia Pichardo Martinez with Keller Williams Innovation. You put on your big girl pants, met with your financial advisor, got a mortgage, bought a house. Woo! Now comes the hard part, making it your own. Whether you're in for renovation or just trying to redecorate, there's a lot more to renovating a property than you may think. Starting renovations too soon is a biggie. If possible, live in your house for a while before making any plans to overhaul. Learn its flow, where the groceries land, where the laundry wants to go, how the sun hits it, which way the rain, the rain lands, even get a sense of its soul. Underestimating cost. Surprises inevitably pop up and then snowball during renovations. Say you're installing backsplash, okay? You might damage the wall and have to replace some of the drywall. Then you see inside the drywall and find electrical issues. And before you know it, you're dealing with more than just the backsplash. Most jobs will cost more and take longer than you expected. So always add 20% to what you think your total project budget will be. If you don't have the funds, cut the job back. And if you happen to beat these projections, then surprises are happy ones. Not hiring a designer from the start. You're about to spend more money than you ever thought. It might as well be for a correctly designed home. Interior designers and architects typically either charge by the hour, take the percentage of your job, say 10%, a, really a small sum compared to your total overall payout. Going for the lowest bid. The lowest bid never equals the best job. That means design as well as construction. Be willing to pay for a good contractor and be wary of the ones who are cheap or available right away. I learned the hard way after making that mistake four times on the same project. Hiring a professional that's not a good fit. Just because someone matches your personality, that doesn't mean that you they'll be a good fit for you. If he or she doesn't ask you a lot of questions about your needs, desires, and the way you live, Find someone else. Listening skills, time management, and curiosity are crucial. Not asking for references. I recommend contacting the previous three clients of anyone you plan to hire. These people will have experienced the person at his or her current level of achievement and staffing. Reach out to the general contractor for an architect and vice versa. And visit your candidate's job sites to find out if you like what you see in, ter in terms of workmanship. Not asking enough questions. Ask a lot of questions. There is no such thing as a dumb one. And besides, it is your money you're spending. You should know why and on what. Making too many changes along the way. Changes that seem simple to you may require a lot of work on the back end. So make sure you check with your designer or builder for even the slightest adjustments. Even moving a light switch a few feet can cost $1,500. Not setting up a timeline. Work with your contractor to put together a list of items that need to be purchased and deadlines for making decisions. The last thing you want is to feel under the gun to make important fixture selections you'll later regret. Not thinking outside the box. Literally, gutters, grating, and roofs may sound boring and there are chandeliers to obsess over, but you've got to build a solid envelope if you want your house to hold up. If you're faced with a choice of working on the outside or the inside, start on the outside. No point of putting in new floor if the roof is gonna leak. Incorrect measurements for cabinets. Put down the tape measure and hire someone to measure your cabinets. It's true that all measurements need to be rather exact. However, kitchen cabinets really need to be right. It's not okay to miss the stove opening and make it a half an inch too small. Your range won't fit. Save yourself the headache and hire a professional for this one. Many big box home improvement stores will measure it for you. Or if you're having cabinets or counters built for your kitchen, then the manufacturer will likely want to take their own measurements. Underestimating psychological stressors. Any building project in your own home is filled with power dynamics. 
couples, take the time and work on smaller projects before moving to something big like a house. But seriously, you might be surprised how different your styles, ideas, and approaches are. Skimping on storage. Storage is extremely important, especially if you're gonna resell after renovation. Don't forget to maximize the storage space in any renovations. Skimping on quality. Spend good money on things you touch every day, like door hardware, doors, faucets, appliances, kitchen cabinets. The physical experience sends a daily reminder to you and your guests about the solidity and quality of your home. Not thinking about what's behind the walls. Homeowners often make the mistake of not considering how changes to their home structure will impact existing plumbing, wiring, and structural support. Let's take an example of knocking down a kitchen wall to create a more open floor plan. Before you grab the hammer drill, are you quite certain what's hiding behind the wall? Is the wall itself helping to support the second story and knocking it down would compromise your home's structural integrity. Your architect or interior designer is trained to provide you with an answer about what lies out of sight. He or she can give you advice on what changes can be made either by modifying your floor plan or adding structural support to achieve the open living plan you desire. Replacing windows. Think long and hard before replacing your windows. If they're original to the house or, and are in half decent shape, they can and should be resuscitated. Adding storm windows can do a trick when it comes to energy efficiency. Skipping necessary safety measures during demolition. We've all seen HGTV shows. The host hands the homeowner the sledgehammer and they start whacking away. But this is not the safe way to do it. Demolishing an old home or building is a serious undertaking. And you may consider hiring a trained professional for safety reasons. Without first doing a lot of research, DIY demo can lead to injuries like broken bones, crushed fingers, burns, or even more. You may even risk starting an electrical fire or bursting a water pipe not getting a permit for your home. Thinking you can save time or money by trying to avoid getting legally required permits can, can cause you many problems and delays. If you don't get a permit, the local authorities may not allow you to proceed with your renovation project and demand that it be halted or demolished for safety reasons. Not getting everyone on the same page. If you're purchasing appliances, lighting, and other items for renovation, print out all of the specs and installation instructions. Put them in a binder for the contractor and the subs to keep on site so everyone has access to these docs. And a bonus tip, if you were ever to sell or rent your property, this is a super valuable tool. Trying to be your own general contractor. Aside from the experience with construction materials and sources, general contractors have something else to offer, which is accountability. You don't have as much sway over an electrician. Subcontractors, however, have relationships with GCs that will suffer if they don't get the job done right. Sometimes it will work out, especially if your jobs are relatively small, but know that it can be a risk working on too many rooms at once. For anyone on a budget, like all of us, I suggest focusing on the living areas first. Doing a little here and a little there in multiple rooms will only leave you feeling unsettled and frustrated. The places where you spend the most time should really serve as the focus of your energy and investment. And when the budget allows, move on to the next space. Remodeling can have some pitfalls if you don't prepare yourself and avoid common mistakes, but it can also have huge rewards if you come up with a good plan and build a great team of professionals to take your project from vision to reality. Now that you can recognize some of the most common home remodeling mistakes, you're in much more likely to have a successful renovation. Good luck with your project and happy remodeling. I'm Ksenia Pichardo Martinez with Keller Williams Innovation. Please like, share, comment, and follow for more great real estate tips.